this isn't something we're talking about doing straight away. Obviously, you need time to take it in. You've given up on him. I know this isn't the news you were hoping for. Just because he can't run around doesn't mean that he doesn't deserve the right to live. Of course not. But we can't make Oliver better, Leanne. Nor can we give him any quality of life. Who are you to say what quality of life he has? The seizures are relentless. Well, well then that's why you have to do something. The damage to the brain is currently at the back, the occipital lobes but it will spread to involve other areas and in all likelihood, Oliver will go on to suffer liver failure. So I'm not even gonna get to say goodbye to him. We won't be able to hear my voice or know I'm even there. If I didn't think this was in Oliver's best interest. How can you let a child die? How can that be in his best interests? Where there's no hope of a good outcome. Yeah, all right, we get it, there's nothing you can do. Well, you might have given up on him. But lucky for us, we found a doctor abroad who can help him. It don't matter how much. And it's perfectly understandable that you would wish to explore every avenue open to you. But please believe me when I say we really have done everything possible to help Oliver. Sadly, it's just not enough to stop this dreadful disease. You know, I sit and watch parents in the ward of kids who need a new heart or a life-saving drug and you can help them. So why are you not willing to help my son? I'm afraid Oliver is more sick than many of the other children. And I want to assure you that we really have done everything we can. But all we can do now is keep him alive with artificial ventilation and deep sedation. But in time, there might be a cure. Even on the machine, Oliver will go on to develop complications. What kind of complications? Severe gut dysmotility an inability to process foods and liquids. Well, that doesn't have to kill you, does it? Like I said, liver failure. Even multi-organ failure. I know this is a shock. No, you don't know. You need time to talk. I'm not discussing anything else until I've spoken with Dr. Schmitz. to be okay. Right, we need to stay strong. We're all he's got. I know it's gonna be... So, where's that leave Oliver? What, what happens now? Oh, nothing. We talked to Dr. Smith this afternoon and then we take it from there. I think this might be the single most important thing you've ever done for me. They're going to help him. They're going to help him, I know they are. And I don't care whatever it costs or how long it takes. Where's Steve? Oh, um, I told him to go and get his head down for an hour. He's going to come back for the call later. Do you know what I feel? I feel like sick and positive all at the same time. Sorry. Sorry to lay all this on you. I don't know what I would have done without you. I love you. I love you too. Um, I was just gonna nip off. Why? Uh, there's something I, I need to do at the factory. on the anti-seizure medication, or was he then? Well, he was doing well, very well. I mean, he was practically doing just the things that he did before, playing and talking. He was doing good, really good. That's good. Now, if I could go back to your son's seizures, how frequent would you say they were when he was at home and on medication? Well, I... Hardly any, really. I mean, obviously, there were some, but, like I say, hardly any. Excellent. 
So, from what you've told me, it sounds like Oliver could be a candidate for treatment here. That's wonderful. So, what happens now? In the first instance, I would need to discuss Oliver's case with his consultant at Weatherfield General, and then I would have to arrange to come to the UK to carry out my own examination. I'm afraid for this, it would be a fee. Oh, that's fine. Um, when would you be able to come? My secretary will be in touch about the date, but it won't be for at least a few weeks. Oh. Uh, can I just ask, if Oliver is a candidate for uh, treatment, how much would it cost? Well, that doesn't matter. We'll, we'll do whatever it takes. Jesse's just giving his hands and face a wash. Look, we need to talk about this conversation with Dr. Oh, uh, if you're going to start going on about how much it costs, I've already told you whatever it takes. It's not about the money. Oh, don't start! What is the point in lying when he's going to come all the way over and find out anyway? The point is, Steve, that we need to help our son. I thought that's what you wanted to. Well, don't try and twist it. Look, he's considering giving him treatment under false information here. What if he turns out not to be suitable? Well, we don't know that he's not suitable. We have to get him here. We have to try. Look, I will do everything to help him. Of course I will. I just worry when the truth comes out. Steve, we're in the middle of a living nightmare here. I just need to take one day at a time. It's Dr. Schmidt. He sent the estimate for all of his treatment. It's 500,000 pounds. <laughs> 